the whole franchise is pretty um, weird. It's like uh, half a reboot and half a sequel. And I was so angry at the ending because... Uh, Hello everybody, Scott Sutton here, and welcome to a new episode of Scott Recommend Movies. In this episode, it's not so much of a um, recommend part, it's more of a not recommend part, because I'm gonna talk about the original Mad Max movie. The original Mad Max movie came out in the 70s, I don't remember which year, but it was the 70s. And I have to say, it is not a good movie. It uh, is really slow and boring, and uh, it actually doesn't do anything to the sequels, because uh, the whole franchise is pretty um, uh, weird, because it's uh, full of uh, continuity errors um, here and there, and basically when you watch a new movie, it's like uh, half a reboot and half a sequel, so it doesn't make so much uh, sense, the whole franchise. But the second movie, World Warrior, is uh, said to be one of the best uh, sci-fi movies of the 80s, so um, that was uh, pretty good. <laughs> I have seen that too, it was uh, way better than the first one, but I'm not uh, here to talk about the second one or the third one. I'm gonna do that later, because today I'm gonna talk about the first one. It uh, stars uh, Mel Gibson as Mad Max, and uh, he plays um, a family father, which gets uh, his uh, wife and a child um, killed by a motorcycle gang and then they have to go and kill all of them because they left him uh, out in the wild. It at least says that on the cover. But the problem is that that is the ending of the movie. It says that uh, this was about the movie but uh, everything that says uh, on the back um, of the cover which has just uh, said to you is the ending. It happens within the last 15 minutes. And that is pretty weird, because normally, when uh, they tell you what's uh, happening in the movie, they tell you about the beginning and the um, movie in a whole, not the ending, like in this movie. But the thing is that it doesn't happen uh, anything within the first hour, it is basically just the end, where it uh, gets exciting. And when it finally became uh, pretty um, exciting and actionful, it ended. And I was so angry at the ending, because uh, uh, right before the credits came, it actually became really cool and I was looking for another scene and uh, was hoping that it would be uh, even better, but no, it just ended. And uh, what's weird is that it says it uh, takes place in the distant future, the post-apocalyptic world, but it basically just uh, takes place in the modern day. It looks and feels just like it does uh, nowadays or in the 70s of course. But the other movies, those are uh, more of a post-apocalyptic um, future, because there they go and dress the weird and um, are in a big desert and all that. But there they are dressed normal and it's in a normal uh, town. In the beginning of the second movie they say something about um, uh, atomic uh, war or something, but um, I thought that was uh, between the first and second movie, but apparently that was <laughs> before the first movie too, so it absolutely makes no sense, but it seems like that is the deal with um, all the Mad Max movies. They don't uh, have to um, make sense or none of the movies are connected to each other, but they are still connected to each other. Because uh, nowadays there are four movies, we have the original trilogy with Mel Gibson, and then we have the newest movie, uh, Fury Roads, where they basically just uh, took new um, actors and all that, because they made it uh, nowadays. But still, all the movies feels like it's just a reboot or something, but still it's a sequel, so um, I'm so confused of these movies. I haven't seen few words uh, yet, I heard it's pretty good, so I wanna watch it someday. I have uh, seen the second and the third movie too, I really love those, so I'm thinking about uh, talking about uh, those later. But the first movie was just um, boring, so um, this is actually a movie I don't recommend you to watch uh, so much, but if you wanna have a Mad Max marathon, you can uh, gladly watch this movie too. You know, uh, just so that you can watch all the movies. But it actually doesn't matter if you watch the first movie or not, um, if you wanna watch the second movie for example, because they explain a little bit in the beginning. More than this, I don't know what to say about this movie, 
But um, it's a decent movie. So uh, if you want to watch it, just uh, watch it. But it's not a um, movie you have to watch. If you understand. <laughs> so that was everything from today. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.